What's up guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video we're going to take a look at leveling the bed on the Anycubic Photon M3 Max. It is pretty much the same as any of the Anycubics on leveling. It'll pretty much be the same way. What you need to do on this one though is you will need to take your Allen key and you will need to first remove or loosen, should I say, don't remove, loosen these bolts. So there's one, two, three, four bolts either side. And the reason you want to do that is because when you set this to home, this will home in on the screen. When it does that, you want to make sure that this is not tight because if, is there an, if there is an error of any sort, then that will just puncture and go through your screen, even though there is a sensor to tell it that it's home you could have that possibility. So just make sure you make sure they're loose so that at least when it pushes down onto it, it's got some flexibility to push it back up again once it's down into place. So what we need to do now is switch it on. Let's do that first. We'll wait for it to power up. I have got my USB stick in the side. I have loaded files onto it. I will show you how to do that at a later date. But for now, we're just gonna be doing the leveling of the bed. I'm just going to loosen that off a little bit more, just so it's nice and loose. There we go. And what I need to do is I need to remove the vat. So what we do here is we will just go to Tools, and we want to move the Z, and then we'll click on 10 millimeters and up. So however many times you do that, we'll move it up. So if I click it three times, it will do it three times in a row. There you go. Right, so we just need to remove these out of the side because we don't want the vat in the way when we're trying to do the leveling. I have seen people do it with the vat in place and then level it with that, but you do get leveling paper with it. So I'm just going to use what comes with it, which is the leveling paper. So we just need to remove that, just be careful not to damage anything on the back there. We do have a piece of paper stuck under there. I've just put that under there for protection for when I'm laying it down, although there are ridges on the vat to stop that from happening. Right, so are we good? I think there's a little bit of something on the protector. So what we need to do now, we need to just pop our leveling paper in place, which we can do here. And then we just need to make sure that this is loose. This is proper loose, which it is. So that's absolutely fine. You want to set it to home. So if you click on home, that should take it home. So just keep an eye on it. Just make sure that when it's going down, it will level itself home. Should take it, it shouldn't take too long to do. So it should hit the paper. There you go. And that is now saying it's home and level. So what we need to do is we just now need to tighten this up. So we keep that in place. While that's in place, we just make sure it doesn't move, that it looks straight all the way around. And then we can now tighten up the ends so it doesn't move. We don't want to do them up like stupidly tight, but we just need to do them up enough so that we know that it is level and when it prints it's going to be printing on there very well so just hold that down tighten that and then keep that in place push that down when i'm saying pushing down i don't mean like going crazy pushing it down we're literally pushing it down a little bit because we don't want to break that screen we want to make sure that these are nice and tight though don't go crazy tight, but we want to make sure they're tight enough that they do not come loose. Because if that comes loose, your print is going to be ruined and you are not going to be able to do anything about it. So that looks pretty straight all around. I'm pretty happy with that. So now that that's done, we need to lift it back up again because obviously it's in the way. We can see that it's straight and we should be able to see that it's nice and tight under the paper. It is quite tight under there. It should be fine once the paper is removed. 
if it if, if you feel like it is too tight on there you can obviously just lift it up a little bit and do it but i think that is going to be absolutely fine especially when we got the vat in place but that's how you level it guys so if you want to just get it up out of the way again you just go 10 mil and then get it right up out of the way however many times you press it is however many times it will go up so there you go just moving up out of the way and now when we put the vat in place we should be fine for it to be level and happy enough that we have got it where we want it so we go ahead and do that now make sure there's nothing in the way of dirt or dust or anything on there uh, I don't know if you have noticed on this but this is actually frosted and apparently that is absolutely fine so I wasn't too keen on it being frosted but that is just the normality of it so once you get that in place and push that in that's there it is ready to do your first print so there you go guys that's how you do it if you have any questions please don't forget to pop them in the comment section down below please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye